All of your most pressing questions shall now be answered. It's Ask Joe. Eric Grubbs asks, Which is better torture music, a Yoko Ono solo album or Lou Reed's Metal Machine music? Well, Eric, that depends. If you're the one being tortured, Yoko Ono. If you're doing the torture, Yoko Ono. Rachel Schnitzes Rass asks, What's the best movie you've seen only counting movies in the last two weeks? Slightly foiled by autocorrect. Well, Rachel, I finally got around to seeing Drive starring Ryan Gosling. I, I liked it a lot. It, it was great. It had a lot of violence, a lot of suspense, a lot of me questioning my sexuality. But by far the coolest thing that I've seen over the last few weeks was a presentation at the Oak Cliff Film Festival of the movie Sunrise from 1927. I think it was the first uh, Best Picture winner in Oscar history. But it was accompanied by a band from Austin called My Education. And they're kind of a progressive rock, space rock kind of band playing along to this old silent film. It was the coolest thing I've seen in a long, long time. I can't obviously show you what it was because it was a live performance, but it was a little something like this. So if you missed the Oak Cliff Film Festival, you did miss out. It was a great time, they had a great program, great people running it and everything. But if you're into that kind of thing, definitely check out the Texas Theater. Go online, look at the events they have coming out. They've always got really cool stuff going on. And it's, and it's actually supporting local filmmakers when you go there because it's run by local filmmakers and they're making some really great stuff and they're doing really great work. So go check it out. Bevan Bell asks, I keep getting mistaken for somebody whilst on the mean streets of Los Angeles. Who the hell do they think I am? Well, Bevan, luckily there's a celebrity lookalike generator from this website called Picadillo, and I ran your picture, you're welcome, to see uh, who you actually look like, and they came up with some surprising answers. Turns out everybody could be thinking you're Christian Bale, or Antonio Banderas, or Lionel Richie, or Laura Bush. So, Bevan, it looks like you got some options there, but if I had my guess, Laura Bush. Bevan then followed up with, oh, and why do they call them licorice whips? <laughs> Because you're not going to strike down on the gimp and the rubber mask at the S&M orgy with a piece of licorice string. I mean, come on. And Chip Andrews asks, What's the difference between spearmint, peppermint, and wintergreen? They really all taste about the same. But clearly there's a lot of passion on this subject because it started this whole debate on the thread about whether or not they're remotely the same and someone even calling wintergreen snowman ass. So I'm going to do some educating! Spearmint and peppermint are actually two different types of mint. Spearmint being methyl spicata, peppermint being mentha pepperita. Spearmint is generally a little bit sweeter. Peppermint is more bold and greener, the type of plants that they are. Wintergreen is, is actually different. It actually comes from a tree or a shrub, uh, sometimes birch trees. It's from a sap. And it's mostly used in medicinal purposes, but uh, they also use it obviously as flavorings and gum and stuff like that. Spearmint is by far the most popular flavor. 45% uh, of the spearmint that's grown in the United States goes right into gum. Now having said all this, obviously everybody's taste buds are different. Everybody likes different things. Personally, I kind of like the wintergreen the best. Then again, I ate a lot of Bengay growing up. 